Hey everybody, Craig Ball here again. The thing I want to talk to you about today, once again, is forgiveness. We need more of it. But have you ever thought about the power and the potential for forgiveness and why you should do it? Well, people often ask me, where do I start? Where do I start if I wanted to sort of improve myself? I wanted to get my mental health on track. I wanted to start to fold back at the mistakes of the past or whatever I'm beating myself up about, whatever my problems are, whatever I'm avoiding. Okay? I say start with forgiveness. Why forgiveness? Why you ask? Because it's the first point in letting go. It's the quick win. It's the ultimate. It's, it's so many things. And what's important about it is it helps you release the bitterness, the bitterness you have towards yourself, the bitterness you hold towards others and the anger and the resentment. Forgiving others doesn't have to let them off the hook. It may be fortuitous for you to let them off the hook, but it may not be. Okay, they may have hit such a heinous crime against you that you shouldn't be doing it, but you need to forgive to let yourself off. It's the letting go. It's the path to acceptance of yourself, acceptance of others. You can accept them, but not what they did. That's fine, but it's important to get started. And how you go about doing it? It's letting yourself go, letting go. Starting to say, I forgive you. Look yourself in the mirror if you have to and say, I forgive you for all these things you've done over the years. When you focus on what that is and you make that arrangement with yourself, you may need to write it down, you may need to repeat it a thousand times, whatever that is. Some things are held on really, really tight, but you need to be prepared to forgive yourself. Once you start by forgiving yourself, everything falls away. Nothing is your fault. Stop playing the blame game. The problem with blame games is that it's not a forgiving act, is it? You know this. And the problem with the blame games, it invites guilt because you start blaming yourself after you've, you know, if you're upset because you got angry with someone and you've ripped into them, then you start feeling guilty because that, that whole looking for someone to blame pushes back on you. You probably hang on to this for years or know people who are. Start forgiving. Start letting go. Start realizing that you're okay. Stop looking for someone to blame. Try to understand. Instead of looking to blame, try to understand the circumstance, situation, how that happened. I hope that helps. If you'd like to learn more, go to changeseminars.com forward slash forgiveness. Enter your details to get your free handout, your forgiveness worksheet and additional video training for nothing. It's all yours. Take it away. I can't wait to be inspired by you again. Thank you.